Hi there, Massimo from Blue Root. And today I want to show you a very commonly asked question and show you how to solve it. And basically what we see on an everyday basis is people using too many workflows and maybe running out of workflows. And it's typically because you've set up your workflows wrong. Um, one of the things that not a lot of people know inside of Zoho is the ability to actually create workflows with conditional logic. It's only about a year, maybe a year and a half old, and a lot of clients that have old workflows don't know about this, or they haven't actually changed their systems to accommodate. So let me show you an example here. We see this a lot where you have a new contact, Michael, and a new contact, Jenna. Now, these are test workflows, but picture for a moment that you want a tag to be applied to a contact on create if the owner is Michael. And then you want a tag to be applied to the contact on create if the owner was Jenna. Now, two or three years ago, you would have had to actually create two workflows, as you see here. What I'm going to show you today is how to combine them. So if I go into this, this is actually Tom demo account. So I, I'll, I'll rename this for the video, new contact Tom. And one of the neat things you can actually do here is this button here, add another condition. When you do that, you can actually have, as it says, another condition that triggers off of the same when. So that's the tricky part you have to keep in mind and remember is that this will only trigger on create once in this scenario. If you made it a field update, for example, and then you made it every time, it would trigger every time. But the, the thing I always tell people to keep in mind is the when never changes. So what this workflow will, will do is when the when happens, so something's created, it'll go through condition one. If true, it'll do it. If false, it'll go to condition two. If true, it'll do it, et cetera. So one of the things here, uh, like what I can do, I'll change this up a bit and I'll say, um, what we'll do here is we'll actually say, well, let's just say account name. I want something to happen if it contains ABC, right? Now, when account name contains DEF, I want this to happen. And you could see here that in this scenario, I'll actually also want a tag. I'll just put a different test tag. Uh, I'll do test two. So you can see now that the workflow will check. Does it contain ABC? Do this. No. Does it contain DEF? Do this. And you can keep adding conditions. And one of the neat things with this is you can actually add up to 10 conditions in one workflow rule. So if you have a lot of different things triggering at the same point, but you want different types of automations, for example, a different owner email, a different task based on the owner, um, a different email based on the city, things like that. You can throw them all into conditions and really kind of um, uh, optimize your CRM. Thanks for watching.